Researchers in Singapore will collect data for 15 months to study the long-term impact on oil spill in June will have on marine ecology. Now, the team will monitor key biodiversity areas as well as species of interest. National Development Minister Desmond Lee says the data will be used to suggest ways to protect and restore key habitats. Rachel Tang with more. After over 400 tonnes of oil seeped into Singapore's waters in June, more than 2,300 volunteers lent their hands to help clean up its shores. Now that beaches have reopened, the public can also play a part in helping marine life bounce back. We intend to train more citizen scientists from our schools, our institutes of higher learning, our interest groups and members of the public to conduct intertidal watch surveys at various sites across Singapore because we believe that safeguarding and restoring our marine environment is a collective effort that everyone can play a part in. The National Parks Board will work with three research institutions. They will also collect data at habitats that were untouched by the oil spill, such as Changi Beach Park and Coney Island. One researcher says the oil spill's impact on marine life may not be seen so immediately. The environment would have changed if with the, with the landing of the oil spill. So, so the, the, some of the larvae, for example, may not want to come back, may not want to, to live there anymore. Right? They, may, they, they, they may have the power to move away. Right? So, so there's a lot of, that is quite dynamic, right? as with any uh, ecosystem. Another researcher points out that the oil spill happened during a marine heat wave. What we need to do next, basically monitor the, the impact or the joint impact of these two sort of separate events, at one local event, localised event, the oil spill, and one that's hap actually happening at, the, at more pantropical global scale, which uh, the marine heat wave is being sort of experienced uh, elsewhere as well around the world and affecting coral reefs too. National Development Minister Desmond Lee says a science-based approach is needed to manage the country's waters. Singapore waters are home to about 250 coral species as well as 700 marine fish species. Yet, as one of the busiest ports in the world, our local marine life has to share a space with recreational and shipping activities as well as deal with the pressures of climate change and pollution. As Singapore is an island, Mr Lee adds these waters matter to the broader region as well.